My name is Courtney Laskowski. I am a woman of faith. I'm a wife married to my high school sweetheart going on 18 years. I'm a mother of two teenage boys and I am a 911 dispatcher. It's true, there is a bit of a negative stigma that tends to come with this job. The high stress, taking calls filled with crisis, tragedy, and incredible sadness. Multitasking at the highest levels. Talking to frantic callers on the phone and officers on a radio channel while documenting both sides of a dangerous situation. Ascertaining valuable scene safety information, providing instructions to keep the caller and bystanders safe, providing medical care instructions for victims at the scene, running background checks on potentially dangerous suspects, and relaying pertinent information all at the same time. I've spoken to countless people in what is probably the darkest moments of their lives, but I've also been a light in their darkness, talking them through tragedy and finding hope in the life of a stranger when they believed all was lost, letting them know they are not alone and reassuring them that I would stay with them on the line until their officer, paramedic, or firefighter could take over. I have talked to so many desperate and hurting people going through their own hell and wanting the pain of their own life to end. And with only my voice, convince them to step back on the curb, away from the ledge, to put the gun away, leave the pills in the bottle, and ultimately make a different choice. I am a lifesaver. And then there are calls in which lives cannot be saved. Ascertaining information and giving instructions to clear a house and get family members away from the gruesome scene they described to me as pieces of their father and husband all over the hall who just taken his own life with a shotgun. I started seeing a therapist two years ago, not because I believed I was broken, but because I'd noticed the extent of which I'd changed with this career, even in just the first two years. There wasn't really one call in particular that I went to therapy for. There was one, however, that I would say was the tipping point or a pivotal point it was a tough call. My caller had walked in and found his friend, a drowning victim. Because of the way the call started, I, I made a judgment that the victim was already passed away. I was anticipating going with that protocol. However, I clicked a little faster than normal and the answer he gave me wasn't exactly convincing that she was, in fact, dead. So I was struggling to click back into CPR instructions to give this poor kid chest compression instructions for his friend while he sobbed the entire time and begged his friend to come back to life. I stayed on the side channel with the officers who were there at the scene. I got CSI units en route to them, helped them to identify the victim. And about an hour in, I finally sent a message over the computer to one of the last officers who were on the call. Did she make it? 